Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. We're talking wrestling district two tournament this weekend. Dave Rosengraf from the Times Leader joining us right now. Of course, you check out the Times Leader on Friday. Great coverage from Dave and some stories he's done. And of course, you'll see it all weekend long in the Times Leader from Dave Rosengraf. Dave, uh, let's talk AAA wrestling. We got to talk a little Double A wrestling. This is AAA. Uh, we'll start out in the lower weights. Uh, tell us about some of the guys you're looking forward to seeing. Well, if, if you like freshmen, you, you want to check out the 106 bracket because there is a lot of freshmen there who who I, I think are going to be moving on to regionals. Uh, you have Will Avanitsky from Scranton, who's who's uh, actually state-ranked. I mean, he's in uh, maybe top 20, somewhere around there. He's still state-ranked. Uh, you have Pat Clark from Coughlin, who's, who's been a phenomenal freshman all season. <clears throat> and then after that, there's a couple... Uh, I'm an upperclassman with Stephen Capel from West Scranton, who actually won this 106 bracket last year, and Jake Nauer from Hazleton area, who's a sophomore, who's got a lot of potential, and he, he's he's pulled off some upsets already this year. So you know that's that won't be a, a shock to see him maybe knock off one of those other guys. And you, uh, meant, you mentioned, Dave, two programs there, Hazleton and Scranton. Of course, Scranton making it uh, two states this year for the team duels, and then uh, Hazleton with uh, Coach Maurer's son wrestling. And he said it's actually been kind of fun for him, coaching his own kid. And, you know, some coaches kind of relish that, and uh, he seems like he's having a fun time with it. Yeah, he, he does. You know, and like you said, there's a couple of ways that you can actually do that when your father son coach. You can either – push the kid, keep pushing them to the point where you might push them away or you just kind of, you know, get yourself engrossed in it. And I think that's kind of what, what Coach Mauer has done there. I think he's just kind of, you know, let him do his own thing and that's working out great for him. And, hey, if that's working out, I can keep doing it, right? Yeah, and I had that conversation. You're exactly right, uh, Dave. Uh, Coach Mauer said, you know, in the beginning, he really didn't like wrestling and then, you know, eventually started coming around. He's really bought into it and he's been uh, pretty darn successful so far this year at Hazleton. And, uh, Dave, how about some of the other weights there in, uh, on the lower end? Uh, <clears throat> and uh, An interesting one is going to be 120 because there's four guys there who – who I, I think can all win. Again, we're going to talk about another Hazleton kid, Anthony Marcasio. He's, he's uh, I think he's like the, the fourth seed there. Uh, I don't think he, he has that much firepower to win it, but you have Jimmy Forsett from West Scranton, who is a past district champion. Then the number one seed is James Wright from Valley West. He's, uh, he's had a great season. And the number two seed is Jake Richards from Titanic, who was beaten right twice this season. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot of movement going on there. Um, so that one is not going to finish the way that it, it is. To, at least I don't think it's going to with those top four being the top four seeds finishing in top four like that. Uh, at 126, you have another Hazleton kid, Jimmy Hoffman, uh, state qualifier last year. I don't think he's going to get challenged at all. He's going to have a, a pretty easy tournament there to win his second Title. Talking with Dave Rosengram from the Times Leader. is the beat writer for the District 2 Wrestling uh, Tournament coming up this weekend. Dave, let's move along up to, to maybe some of the middleweights and, and some expectations that you uh, you can't wait to see. Yeah, uh, the premier bracket here is 160. And number one seed, you have Cody Cordes from Valley West, who was a state qualifier last year. And obviously, I mean, he, he's had a great season. He deserves to be number one seed. Number two seed, you have Andrew Burgett from Scranton. And number three, you know, get this, the only undefeated wrestler in AAA is the number three seed in this bracket. <laughs> Saul and Ray from Sunkanic. I mean, he's, he's 34 and 0. He's had a great season. And, I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's going to be a, a great, great. Now, my prediction for the final is, Cords and Ray in the final, and I've gone back and forth on this. I, I really don't know who I'm going to pick. Wow. I have, I have to pick someone, but I don't know. I mean, I may as well just flip a coin and say, okay, this kid's going to win, because I think they're that close. I, I can see Cordes and Ray going to maybe sudden victory, maybe like a 3-2 score, something like that. 
Yeah, and I was talking to Chase Gallick uh, this week from Wall of Popak. He said he wrestled Ray and lost to him from Tuncanic, and he's down at 145. But, uh, yeah, you're right. What a what an unbelievable uh, bracket that's going to be. And uh, as you said, just a couple of wrestlers, uh, one in AA and one in AAA, and he is the third seed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And speaking of Gallic, I mean, he, but what a great story he is too. I mean, he's uh, number one seed there at forty-five. But this is a kid who he, he's ranked in the state, but he has never won a district title. I mean, he's a senior. He's, he's finished second, second, and third. <laughs> and I mean, he's—I uh, forget where he's going to college, but uh, he's already committed to a Division One program and everything like that. He's never won the district title, but what a great story that is for him. I don't, I don't think he's going to have a problem winning this weekend, but he, that's, a, that's a great story there. Yeah, he. Uh, I think he was taking on the Palmer kid the last couple of years from Delaware Valley, and uh, he was running into him at 132. And he right, is headed right. to Lehigh University. He's going to study engineering. And, yeah, what a great young man, no doubt about it, uh, uh, Chase Gallick. Uh, how about some of the upper weights? Yeah, at 195, you have it. Delaware Valley's Matt Wagoner, who's the number one seed. Now, I, I don't see him getting beat. I think he's ranked like fourth in the state. Um, but the reason I bring him up is because he, he has the chance to be a four-time state uh, district finalist. Now, he's he's won three. I'm, I'm sorry, he's looking to win his third. But he's been to the finals. He could be to the finals four times. And that, that's pretty impressive together. I mean, he, he took second as a freshman and hasn't lost in the final since then. <laughs> and so I don't think he's going to have that much of a problem this weekend to do that. Um, then at, at 220, you have Jake Baxmonski from Marriott and Kyle Hartman from Wall and Popek. And these two guys are are really, really close. It, it, it's hard to pick who's going to win this one. Um, <clears throat> Hartman's the one seed, Baxmonski's the two. I, I think that's like a a quarter and race situation there where you just kind of flip the coin and say, who's going to win this one? Because I, I think they're very, very equal and close uh, when it comes to that. And the big one is at 285. It seems like we say that every year, don't we, John? <laughs> 285 is the big one? Yeah. Uh, here you have two state-ranked wrestlers. They're both ranked in the top six in the state by PA Power Wrestling. You have Ryan Monk from Dallas, who is sixth, and Cam Van Wert from West Scranton, who is fourth. So they're they're definitely on a crash course there to see who uh, who's going to win that district title. Uh, Monk was a state qualifier last year, and he's actually ranked behind Van Ward in the state rankings. Figure that out. Yeah, and I and what's never been a state. <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, seen Van Wert uh, wrestle, but I've heard he's a house, and uh, it should be interesting. I mean, Ryan Monk and talking to him over the last couple of months when he told me he was going to Penn State to play football, uh, he told me, hey, he's talked to his recruiting coach. They said, listen, concentrate on wrestling. We want you to go out and, and, and try to win a state championship. He seems focused on it, but, uh, boy, that is going to be a heavyweight clash. Yeah, they met last year in the finals, too, and it went to overtime, and Monk actually pinned him in overtime. So, I mean, that gives you an idea of how close they are. <laughs> well, looking forward to seeing that and many matches this weekend at the Kingston Armory. Uh, Dave, continued great work there at the Times Leader and what you do, and everybody could check out, of course, the Times Leader on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because you'll have coverage all three days of stuff and some good stories in there as well. Yep. All right, thanks, John. All right, that's Dave Rosengrand from the Times Leader talking District 2 wrestling here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tower and Automotive Centers.